right, guys. Surgery time. Mm. <laughs> On the previous episode, we shared the reason why Dorothy decided to get LASIK done and everything that occurred up until the surgery. Now, it's time to find out what exactly happened in the operating room. <gasps> oh, shit. So they called me again. Oluto, you see? Mm. I stood up. Oh, I said, wow. mm, that's me. Oh. I packaged all my things. Mm, mm, mm. And I shall enter. So when you enter into the operating, like there was like a waiting area before the operating room. So I entered and they had some chairs there. Mm. And the, the, uh, there's, there was like an attendance desk in there. Sha. So oh. that was the babe that called me. So they now directed me to a chair that had this, um, what do they call those things? What? The one for the head and the one for the shoes. Like those scrub, like hair nets. Oh, okay, like yeah. scrub. It's like scrubs, yeah, yeah like but the hair Protective nets and the shoe nets. Pipi isha. Yeah. And then I said, okay, that I should go to that chair that has those the blue pipi thingies and I should wear them on my, I should sit down, I should wear them on my shoe, on my legs and on my head. Because that day I didn't even go with no wig, as you guys would have seen in the video. Mm. So I was, it was then, as, and let me just tell you guys, like the brain is so powerful. Like in my mind, I'm like, oh, this thing is not going to last for long, truly. Don't be nervous. My my brain just like, I was already shaking, like, oh God. <laughs> so I was not trying to take deep breaths, like, ah, no, 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 no. You, got, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. Wow. And I entered. I should have did the thing. I sat down only for one lady to just come out of the operating room. She had just finished her own surgery. And she was like, <laughs> she was really like panicking and everything. I was like, hey, what's going on? She now sat down. She now started crying. She now said, oh my With God. With the new eyes that it just did, she started she crying. She was like, oh my God. I mean, in shock. Because she had like these glasses on. Uh, this is the glasses that they gave me. So she, had, so she was like, oh my God. I mean, shock. I was like, eh? Hey. <laughs> you come here. Come on. She's so crying. I mean, I already like I, I dropped my phone, everything away now, so that because I like I don't mean to look at the screen after the surgery, so yeah. I'm like I'll just tell you Siri to call you for my watch or something. So the girl was like, oh, I'm in shock, everything. Then the other people was not rubbing her back, telling her sorry. I was like, eh, hey, what's in this? This is not what I signed up for. Mm. And I said, you know what, F this. I said, please, can I go and use the bathroom? <laughs> and I went again to pee. And I looked at the mirror. You I was not like, that this time. Of course I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was not like taking deep breaths, like, girl, you need to calm down. Wow. Like, just forget, just forget about anybody else's reaction to this thing. Just, and, and I already done my research. And people that I saw, like, it wasn't so bad. I watched everybody else's story time too on YouTube, and they were like, oh, it wasn't that bad. Do you get something? I'm like, ah, why is this one? So by the time I come out of the bathroom, like they are taking that lady away, and another nurse now came to pack her stuff. So the baby that was attending to me now said, "I looked at, don't worry about that babe. Like she took some, I think she, they, I think they said she took some anxiety meds. And I'm like, why are the anxiety uh -huh. meds now making her act like that or something? I don't know. She only needs you tell her she, ah. she got it. She now said that okay, that she's just going to give me a couple of instructions that. First of all, the surgery is going to go to last like 10 minutes. I'll be in and out real quick. And they're going to give me some eye drops. And they're going to administer the eye drops for me now. No, they already giving me the eye drops. And here, they said they're going to help me administer the eye drops. And I can just go outside. I'll have like another eye exam. Blah, blah, blah. They should have given me a whole lecture. And mm. I should not worry. I should make sure I'm calm. That the surgery won't last calm long. Okay. Everything. I said, hmm. There's a baby. <laughs> calm down. Calm <laughs> down. <laughs> she now said that I can leave my things like outside. And I should also put my glasses away. Mm. I'm not, obviously, I'm not going to wear my glasses into your pretty room, right? So, like, I should put my glasses away. I should just leave all my things outside. Wait, the glasses they give you or your. No, no, my actual glasses. Yeah. Now, yes. So, they told me to actually hold these glasses and take it in because I'll be wearing it on my way out. Okay. So, I now held on to these. Me, I even forgot. I was already good. And I said, oh, what about your glasses? <laughs> and I now took it. Yeah. So, like, yeah, so she told, gave me all the instructions and I, I was now waiting. I was like, okay, well, the doctor is ready for me. Ah, ready for me. Yeah. You, were you ready for the doctor? I was not ready for the doctor. <laughs> Hey, hey. Anyways, I shall say, mm, the time is now. You have even spent money, so you have to do it, right? Yeah. So I shall have stood up home and I walked into the place. I wasn't wearing my glasses, so I couldn't really, really see everything like that. But when I walked into the place, there were so many like huge machines, and then there was like this bed, like a stretcher kind of bed. Ah. So like I was like, okay, like what's going on here? So they now told me that I should go sit down on one chair there because it was a chair and like the machine where you look into people's eyes. So that everything was set up there. So they told me to go sit down there. The doctor will be with me in a bit. Anyway, shout out to Dr. Richard Ledger. That's his name. Yes, that's good. I did the surgery. His name is Dr. Ledger. Yes. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> balance sheet or what? <laughs> How do you do that? Is it available balance or ledger balance? <laughs> <laughs> that was the same thing I thought. <laughs> Get out. I'm playing. I'm playing. 
<laughs> anyway, so I got into the place and then they asked mm -hmm. me to sit down there. I sat down and I waited for the doctor. I think they also took the, the glasses from me. Mm. Yes, so I was now sitting there all by myself looking at trying to just look around, but I couldn't God. really see it clearly now. But I also seen machine, machine, big machine. Ah, ah. They were big machines. They were big ma don't do that. So whatever I joke I tried no, to no, crack no, the no, just asking. I want to know because like it's like the way it's in my head is like a mm -hmm. science lab. So I wanted to know like no, yeah. you have that vibe of like, it was like you know yeah. you're going for like an ECG scan, like oh yes. Nah. It gave me the like it gave, yeah it definitely gave that vibe. It's like the machine is so huge, and I think they also told me that they had like backup generators and batteries in case mm. light, like in case power it's ever goes out. Making me uneasy, just no, no, it just was hearing about. And you just hear nah, mm, all those robotic sounds. You get? <laughs> so I sat down there, like I waited for like two minutes, and Doctor now came. He now looked at because I think they had my file up there. He now looked at my name. I was like, you know what? Just tell me your name. I'm not going to butcher this name. I was like, just call me Toya C. I was like, okay, Toya C, Toya C. And I said, look. And I said, look. I'm just going to be straight and honest with you. If you cooperate with me, this surgery is only going to last eight minutes. Wow. And out of that eight minutes, four is preparation. I just do your best. And I said, okay. Okay, I'll cooperate. I'll cooperate. Wow. I'll cooperate with him. And I said, okay, that. Am I? Am I ready? Do I have any questions? I said no. He said, am I ready? He said, and I said yes. I said, okay, that. There's going to be a green light up above me. I should just focus on that green light. I should think about anything. So you have to do like this on the green light. No. Don't go say you should focus. <laughs> You're <laughs> like, no, no, where's the music? No, 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 no. When they were even playing music, they maybe I'd have been feeling better. I wouldn't. So there was no ambient. There was no ambient, no, nothing music. like that. It was in the lobby they were playing ambient music, but not in the operating oh, okay. room. And I said, I gave myself another pep talk again. I see, you know, she is not here, so you don't have any avenues <laughs> to misbehave. Just go and make him proud. <laughs> So then I said, okay, that I should now come to the, I should proceed to the bed or the bed or whatever they call that thing. Then I said, okay, sit down here. I sat down and I said, okay, good. I should put my leg, you know, down on this place. I should put my head, they put one place where your head will enter. I said, I put my head there. Wow. They now put like some, some pillow or something under my leg. And then... They didn't so, strap you, so you like, you won't They didn't strap me. They didn't strap me. They didn't strap me. Mm -hmm. So as I lay down there, they asked to give me stress balls in my, for my two hands. And I said, squeeze your stress balls, not your eyes. I was like, okay, 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 okay. And there's something that I do. Like, I have this thing where when when maybe I'm getting, like, a procedure done, like an injection or something, that, or wherever I'm feeling pain in my body, it's like I mentally transfer the pain somewhere else <laughs> so that I won't focus on the pain wherever it is in my body. So I was just channeling everything into the stress body in my heart because I was like, <laughs> oh, was that pain? there was no pain, but it was my nerves. Do you get? So okay. I'm like, in order for me not to move my head mm -hmm. left or right, I'm like, I was just squeezing the stress ball, squeezing the stress ball. So that's how the doctor now said that, okay, that, that he's going to start real soon. That I, I should get ready and I shouldn't stress. I, like he told me before, I should just focus on the green light. And I said, fine. So the nurse now came and she gave me, because they had given me numbing drops before, yeah, when I was in the waiting area before coming into the operating room. So they came and they gave me more numbing drops. Wow. They pressed plenty numbing drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, ah, shit is about to go down. What's so they already told me also before that I was going to get my eyes clamped, like open. And like I said, because of the research I did, I already knew that I was going to come. Mm. But then, some other people, when I saw there, the clamps looked like really big. But my own was just like small, like was like really small. And they were like, just don't fight that thing. The thing is going to do the work for you. Just allow them clamp your eye once. Wow. So I was just squeezing the stress ball. So the guy shall put it in my eye. Like he shall put it in and he opened my eye. He now said, because and the thing about the doctor, why I really enjoyed the, that doctor was like he was walking me through everything. Like there was no silence. He kept telling me what's to come and what's going to happen. Like and what's going. Was even counting down. So he, he was accountable. He was accountable because yes, he's is legend. Not legend. <laughs> <laughs> so he told me so as he did that thing because because they already told me for that like, they are going to start with my right eye first and he will now do the left eye. So they Wait, so he taped... was going to balance the eyes. <laughs> Hashtag Doctor Ledger. <laughs> <laughs> so they taped my left eye closed and then I know they also taped like I think they taped my eyebrow and then I was wearing a mask. Yeah, you have to wear a mask this period because of COVID. So they also taped the top of this mask so that there won't be like any moisture or fogging from there. So he shall clamp my eye and he said, because he was telling me that yes, I was going to clamp my eye now and this is going to be the most uncomfortable part of the hmm. surgery. It's not painful, it's just uncom uncomfortable. Wow. And because I already anticipated the worst, 
he now clamped it. Well, yeah, honestly, it wasn't so bad. Like, I won't even lie, it wasn't bad at all. It was like a cold metal, or it was like a cold metal, but because it had numbed my eye, I oh, couldn't no. really feel it, you know. But then, you know, I read somebody's quora, and the person, the person was like, Oh, that they, they were so uncomfortable that they numbed your eye, or they didn't numb like your whole eye area. But honestly, when they clamped it, like, it wasn't so bad. Like, it wasn't so bad, guys. So, but is it because they are a serial killer? Shut up. <laughs> and then the funnest thing was that when they did it, like obviously you can't blink when you have your eyes open, but then that sensation of blinking when you move your eye, I could still like do it small. So I wasn't feeling uncomfortable or anything. It's not like they opened your eye, like panicking that you can't blink. Like I was able to still move my eye muscles a bit, so I didn't have that sensation of needing to blink. So I wasn't stressed mm -hmm. out about stressed out about that. So he now said that okay that he's going to start with the surgery now like he's going into the procedure and once he wants to start there's no room for error there's no stopping oh. so i know he did like he should have put something on my eye like i think they, i think so before this i think he measured your eye and he said some numbers maybe it was like 49 something something to the nurse and they were like okay some ah. they were sure doing something he now told me that yeah that he's going to do something to my eye that will make me basically go blind for like five seconds and Whoa. luckily for me yes <laughs> Someone had already told me before that that was going to happen because it happened to him as well. So I didn't, I expected that, so I didn't panic. So he told me that the thing is just going to come, it's going to come like this and it will make me like not be able to see anything. I knew my left eye was already shut. So he's like, he applied something that applied like pressure on my eye and then the eye now started going dark. Going, it was like a cloud it was just going over my eye, going over my eye. Then I couldn't see, it was not like, don't worry, I should take deep breaths. I should just give it five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. All of a sudden, I could see. And I said, You can see? I was like, Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> and then, while, while, while I was in the operating room, there was a nurse that was now rubbing my hand like this, like my oh. other hand. So, like, honestly, like, just even her doing that just sort of calm me down like i didn't want to squeeze the stress balls as much i was just relaxed because you know i already told me that look i'm not lying like, this is the most uncomfortable <laughs> part and the worst it was already done so he said yeah. and let me tell you guys like all of this happened so fast so like he did that thing like my eye like went like blind and then my eye cleared yeah, I restarted. my eye restarted and i said all right the laser's coming the laser is coming it was like just focus on the green light so something now came like really close to my face i just started hearing I was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Wow. And I was like, I think the thing. No, you were smelling like barbecue. So yeah, I was smelling like. So funny, you know, tell me that I was going to smell like something burning, like burning skin or something. Because they were like, I shouldn't worry, it's not my eyes that are burning. That's what they say. That so it's not my eyes that your are eye burning. <laughs> they say it's not my eyes that are burning, that it's just the gases in the laser that's, um, that I'm that just smelling. Smell. You, do you get like a concoction in the laser? But then, funny enough, I was smelling it, but it didn't smell so bad. It just smelled like chemicals, of which that smell of chemicals followed me around for like five days after the surgery. Because I had this phantosmia thing after we caught COVID, I'll be smelling things that are not there. So it's like I was still smelling that thing. Yeah. That, that's very funny that day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it was like lizards coming, lizards coming. I was like, and then he was like, don't worry, it's almost done. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. And then the thing was out. Then so immediately after, they just... Re so he now said, hey, like, it was like paintbrush coming in. He shot you something uh -huh. to rub my eye. I don't know what he did. <laughs> and then they just closed my eye. They just taped the eye. And it was like, you see, the right eye is already done. And the left eye is going wow. to be even shorter. Or more. Wow. I just gave myself a break. I just, as in, I just waited. I was like, just get this shit over. So you didn't panic again. I didn't panic again. I wasn't even, I wasn't even squeezing the stress. I'm so proud ball. of you. Thank, thank, oh, thank. Baby, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. So, like, the same, literally the same thing happened again on the left eye. And then the laser is coming. And, zzz, and then the thing went back. And they now closed it for a bit. They now opened the eye back. They now gave me the shades. And I said, Am I okay to stand up and move? Hmm. No, that's even giving me shade. Sorry. So they closed. Yeah, they, they closed both eyes. Both. Then they now, so they, they now removed the tape, and they also removed the tape from my eyebrows. I was gonna say that I shouldn't tell anybody about this part. That when they remove the tape from your eyebrow, mm -hmm. that, that one is even more painful. Yeah, you are telling them. Yes. <laughs> well, that wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was like ripping bandaid off your body. Yeah. So they should remove that. And I said, okay, am I, am I okay to stand up and walk? And mm -hmm. guys, after that surgery, I stood up and I could see. Wow. Like, honestly, it was crazy. My eyes were blurry because they used a lot of liquid and everything, but. There was like a clock and it's like they put that clock there intentionally just so that you can know that you can see right there was like a clock so i, I saw it and i was like oh shit oh shit guys <laughs> i can actually see they were in line they were in line oh my god so i shall stood up and then i think they told me to go sit down at that same place i sat down where the eye machine was yeah. and i looked at my two eyes and i said all right 
Now I'm going to go get out. out. Oh, well, they gave me the shades. I wore it. Oh, that was it too. They said, out, get out. <laughs> Next. Next. Okay, like it was so crazy. So I became one of those people that came out with that. The zombies. Yes. Yeah, so this is wow. what I look like, guys. Like this was this was the glasses that he gave me, and yes. And then I look like I'm the matrix. You look like all those Nollywood drug dealer women. <laughs> those oh my bosses. God. You know, I old know, Nollywood. I know. <laughs> I came outside though, then I said I should sit down, I should just relax. I they didn't so give you bad. snacks, food. No, they didn't give me, it's me that I did not ask because they offered, I think they okay. offered me stuff, but I didn't. Ah, yeah. fuck up, but it's not like your drink. money, you know, chop your snacks budget. <laughs> God, get that. Like, one day we'll just stop on the way and collect snacks. <laughs> I beg. So they already told me that, oh, that you shouldn't 24 hours after you surgery, you don't look at your screen or anything. But then I was like, can I call my husband or something? Like, oh, yeah, you can call him. Ah. So I just quickly picked, mm. quickly got ah, speed that, speed that. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to do this. I think I did hair series. No, I did hair series for most of it, but I can't. I think that's how my text texted you now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, so Asha came outside and they now put like the first round of the eye jobs for me. They missed that those for me, and then they now said, okay, I should come sit down back in the lobby. So I now they said, yes, I can open my eyes when I'm walking and mm. I'm eating, but I should just try to keep my eyes closed that same day too. So Asha went to sit down in the lobby. So they now called me. For another eye wow. exam <laughs> so i shall went in then i looked at my eyes said that oh that my eyes are all good like they're perfect that what can i read so i was able to share read some some of those letters and say ah that for mm. someone who just did their surgery now that i'm that like, can, yeah like i'm wow. getting i'm looking good it's mm -hmm. looking good it's looking good so they shall give me like a paper indicating that okay every two hours i'm supposed to use my eye drops and yeah she just keep my eyes closed all day and just relax you know and i already taking like so this was on a thursday and i took thursday and friday off work so i wasn't going to go back to work till like monday so i try to relax and then uncle loose i wasn't waiting for uncle loose <laughs> uncle loose had meeting i was shot there and then because i waited there a while the girl kept asking me like hope i'm good hope i'm all right do i need water do i need anything they were really nice to me she just say you know that so I shall have sat there and I waited and I waited and I waited and then Olu snuck came to pick me up. So I now went outside. Oh my guys. What you saw the lights? Saw the lights. Like <laughs> But not the one at like, the end of the Wow, oh, shut up. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is what you probably been enjoying since like hey. It was hey, yeah. it was so crazy. Like and I think another why this surgery is so good is because immediately after, like if you do the LASIK, immediately after you can't see. So that life change just happens like immediately. Anyway, so I shall went to and Uncle Luz, yeah, he was outside waiting for me in front of the door. He came to hold my hand and so a couple of the things that they said I was susceptible to, I, I already started seeing that I had them, like the side effects. So oh. the starburst, like I saw like I had like a Star huge box. starburst. Mm. So it's basically when you see a light, when you look at a mm. light, okay. like a street light or somebody's car light instead of it to just like instead of it to see the actual bulb you will see like a star and like a wow. glow around this which is and that's not like you've been on drugs or anything no oh wow my God, no it's actually getting better because this is like one week post up right so it's getting better it was not as bad as that first day you think it was like I can tell them that some people that don't know that they actually have like astigmatism actually oh, yes. sister. Oh but... yes, because I had slight astigmatism, right? So yeah, yeah they already told me before because honestly, yeah, I actually didn't used to see lights normal way. I actually thought lights. star was when normal because I used yeah, to see star Because he also has slight astigmatism. You do have slight astigmatism. Yeah, very mild. Yes, very mild. So he also like did not know that to an extent yeah. what it was they were just normal, normal to me i didn't know that everybody else was just seeing like normal yeah. lights right well a lot of us are walking around with astigmatism and we don't even know that you know so it's actually crazy but anyway Sha, so we were on our way back and i had to like keep my eyes closed because it was sunny outside and we go back home baby so how do you feel oh i feel so good i feel like the weight has been lifted off my shoulders you said what i feel like the weight why am i still wearing this mask wear the mask <laughs> I feel like the weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I'm actually closing my eyes. So. I can't wait for you to be able to open your eyes so you can see me for who I am. <laughs> <laughs> let's go and relax. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Give me a hand. <laughs> and Uncle Luz, you know, prepared my lunch for me. <laughs> he had like our blackout curtains in the room so I won't be stressed by the sunlight. <laughs> 
This is my baby has to eat after a procedure. So I'm taking food to my baby so she can eat after a successful procedure. Hello. Thank you. So she's giving me life. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I had so I was now doing history. History it set me two hours alarm, two hours alarm. Oh, so and I couldn't even drops, sleep. Man. Yes, because the eye drops. It wasn't even what am I saying? It wasn't two hours for me. It was one hour. hour. One, one, so every one hour, I'm taking three eye drops. And honestly, like the experience wasn't the best, but I was just like, man, yes. Enter my yeah, eyes. Like down to <laughs> so she, like she had to listen to like audio podcasts. Yeah. Then even when it was time to sleep, mm -hmm. like it was just a lot, it was man. Great. She had so, to sleep with her glasses. Yeah, so like on. I had to sleep with my glasses on because they were like they were on that try that first day. They would not want you to touch your eye at all, and yeah. even someone like you can't me, even wash your eyes. Right? You can't even wash. Even I, I just even started washing like my face like a couple days ago. So someone like me, even in the middle of the night, I actually find myself rubbing my eyes, and then <laughs> I go stare at them, stare at them. Ah, it was time I saw because me too. I couldn't sleep. I was on like night duty, or just watching her that she doesn't rub her eyes. Mm -hmm. And at one point in the night, I just noticed movement beside me, and I just woke up and I looked and I saw that she removed the glasses. And she held them in her hand like this. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? She now said, oh, now I just wanted to see. I wanted to switch to HBO. I think she was sleep talking because we were listening to like a HBO thing. Like, I'm like, come on, if you don't wear those glasses back, you want to spoil the eye. I'm just like, okay, okay. I'm just like, I feel so, so bad for all like, this. I'm just sleep. God. Like, when I was using the eye drops, I noticed that my right eye was hurting me a little bit. I said that yes, it's normal because my eye just went through a whole lot of shit. So they're like, yeah. Yeah, if you ever feel any pain, just take Tylenol. So like, I, I went back there for a 24 hour post of pretty check, yeah. which is mandatory for everyone because they have to see immediately after mm -hmm. like how your eyes are doing. So I went back there and they said that yes, that one eye, you know, is worse than the other or was, was worse than the other and the, both eyes heal differently. So yeah. yes, I was going to have some pain. But then, and this is after I used the eye drops for like a couple more days, I didn't have the pain again. Wow. Oh. It's day two, going for my 24 hour post up check. I'm still so facing my eyes. <laughs> Thank you. So, anyways, I should have did the 24 hour check and I was like, I did another eye exam. They looked at my eyes, said, Oh, no, my eyes are a bit dry. I need to keep using the eye. So, I think I was originally supposed to use the eye drop just that 24 hours. Then the lubricant or something for like a couple more days, but they now mm -hmm. extended and said, Look, every two hours for the next couple of days, use these eye drops. They should have gave me some schedule for the eye drops, so I had to keep using them. And then, so I checked, I'm sorry, they checked me and they said that, okay, that for someone who also did the surgery 24 hours ago, yeah. I can see well because my eyes were. It was really a bad. successful one. Yeah, it was a successful Thank God. Like, because my eyes were like minus seven now. It was crazy. And then, the lady that checked my eyes, the Scottish lady was like, yes, her eyes were also like minus seven, so she can <laughs> resonate wow. with me. Yes, she understands. So I shall do the check, and they're like, okay, my eyes are good. I just try, I should keep lubricating them, which I did. Yes, so I went for the one week post check checking on Tuesday, yes. And yeah, so they said that my eyes are all good. And as I, so I asked them, Am I seeing 2020 vision now? But they said, No, I'm not seeing 2020 now. I'm actually seeing 2025. And because of how bad my eyes were, and it's going to take, first of all, like for the first month, like my eyes are going to get like blurry, like randomly sometimes because they are healing, which has mm -hmm. happened to me a couple of times. Like yeah. I know a couple of days my left eye will be blurry or my right eye will be blurry and I was like, what's going on? And then it will just come back to normal from nowhere. Wow. So, and the, this surgery, like your eyes aren't fully healed to like six months after the procedure. So they're like, yes, I'm seeing 2025, but I was coming from 2400, which means that what you, a normal person, you are seeing from 400 feet. It's what's me, I can only see from 20 feet, so I'm scrambling. Do you get wow. So 2020 is like, we can all see the same, like the same thing you see when you're standing at 20 feet, same thing I will see. 2015 is the same thing, what you are seeing at 20 feet, what me I can see at 15 feet, which means my eyes will be better than yours, but I don't have 2015 yet, or oh, wow. 2020. I'm a 2025, which is ugly because even, even at 2025, you don't hell? need glasses with any guy. Honestly, I'm like, I'll take it. Oh I will God. take it because I couldn't see Jack before. Like, 
No. I'm so happy <laughs> for you, but there's some things I'll miss. List of things I'll miss. Number one, not being able to have like a chick that is wearing glasses, then she switches oh, to another please. chick that is not wearing glasses. <laughs> Number two on my list, I'm gonna miss like the eye jokes, like the four eye jokes, like just I won't miss those. just dissing you like you can't see shit. <laughs> nah, I can't diss you again. <laughs> then number three, mm -hmm. I'm going to miss all those moments where you're looking for your glasses, but they're like yes. right here <laughs> on your head or they're in your hand. Oh my but god, just you right guys! And <laughs> that's something because I feel like your brain it will take your brain some time to get adjusted because for me. I realize that sometimes I still reach for my glasses, yeah, and then in my mind I'm like, I'm like, contacts. oh my god, don't forget to take off your contacts before you sleep. And I'm like, bro, you're not wearing like, why somebody? Because even the um, the doctor that attended to me for my 24 hour post, mm -hmm. like she was, she was like, oh, that when she had her surgery, she woke up the next day and she was saying, I was like, oh my god, she sleep with her contact lenses, that she's dead. Oh my god, the guy that said, where were you yesterday? Didn't just have your surgery? She was like, oh, <laughs> oops. Wow. I bet thought she was whining me, but honestly, like I find myself like, oh. I'll just reach here. Then or I'll try to adjust my glasses or, on my nose. Or the laser went to the back of your head and touched something in you guys' brain. God. <laughs> Why did you do this? Or, or because like the eyes like the portal around to the head. Please no. Guys, you understand? Please no. <laughs> I beg. So honestly, like I would rate this whole experience. First of all, I'll rate LASIK MD, I'll say like a 9 out of 10 because obviously I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah. But their service was absolutely good. They are open to your questions. Like, even when I called them on the phone because I was panicking because my right eye was blurry. They were like, mm -hmm. I should calm down. Like, they walked me through. Obviously, they've collected your money, yes. Yeah. But I think the service was really good. Like, everyone I spoke to, they had, they would take they would take their time with you, you know. And they will assure you, ask them a thousand questions. They will tell you, they will even tell you about their own experience. You know, to make you feel more comfortable so yeah definitely like if you're here get yours at lasik md and don't be scared like guys i yeah, can I see was even just going to ask yeah. you, so has anybody ever gone blind or has there been any first of laser all, surgery first of gone all, wrong in north america sha, in north america nobody has ever gone blind from this how do you know where do you zero get the statistics they have the stats now they okay. tell you zero percent has gone blind then things like my like the Starbucks now, 2% have reported that it's permanent in them. So after like a couple months, it goes to different right? people. Dry eyes, they will tell you. Dry eyes. Ah, that Especially one. when you're living in the mountain. That right? one, no. They said, they will not tell you that one. Everybody, they get dry eyes. Even you, mm -hmm. gonna say, if you Even get me, your I have eyes. Dry yes. eyes yeah. But they're like, so they will tell you up front that dry eyes, dry eyes, that one, no. Anybody, <laughs> you can get this very yeah. easily. So the, the things that they know that they, they are honest with, they, they will let you like they, they will let you know what's up, like what's really going down. They will tell you the one that is not going to happen. They tell you the one that can happen. And honestly, like me now, I don't mind using my eye drops every morning. Do you get? Because I'm like yeah. better that than carrying my glasses and more. having headaches, you know. So I'm yes, guys, you. like <laughs> thank you, baby, thank you, baby. <laughs> That was my experience getting LASIK surgery done and no, you're not going to go blind. It's not 50-50 <laughs> and it didn't only last like the actual surgery lasts five minutes. Wow. I'm not even joking. I was in and out of there in a few minutes and no time. The thing is not even long. They just measure something, put something, laser, press it, end of Press surgery. your eye. Like don't it. press your eye. It pops. <laughs> <laughs> if you know you have any questions about the lasik surgery mm -hmm. anything at all you want to know please leave them in the comment section below if there are enough questions maybe we'll do a follow-up of like a question and answer answering you know questions about maybe we should put like an instagram poll or some of the instagram maybe. questions what do people want to know about getting lasik surgery yeah. but right now i am about a week post up and no i don't have any makeup on because i'm not ready to start so like washing my face yes i can actually okay you can i okay. can but i don't but it's want risky to it's not like it's risky. It's not risky. Just they don't want me. anything to like just get into your eye by mistake. So I, I even I just started using like facial like cloths to like wash. I will put like the soap on my face and I now use the facial cloth to wipe my face and I can. But guys, oh my god, like it's so life changing. Like I thought I was even going to start crying immediately after, like crying out of happiness, like <laughs> yeah. tears of joy because I have struggled for years with this thing and the fact that I can actually see and even though lose like yeah, I feel like always is even happier for me than I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> yes, like I it's so like happy. Stressful man, all your headaches, like editing videos and sitting in front mm. of the screen, like yes. and, and even are... now, like I've been able to work and. I step away from the computer, I don't even feel like, I don't feel stressed like I would have been feeling yeah. before. I even clean the toilets 
um yesterday and before that been like this then my mm -hmm. back of my hair will not be paining me because i'll bend it to scrub the bathroom but oh, i did it so fast like anyway so this is me without my glasses you know your girl can yes, see so new, brand new eyes yes not anyway. the kumbo, it's not the kumbo. brand new like oh look at that oh god anyways guys so our camera battery died because you're talking too much the universe has spoken let's <laughs> put an end to this video yes yeah so if you have any questions about this lasik procedure down below or how to take care of somebody that is recovering from lasik yes <laughs> So please make sure you like, comment, share, share and, and subscribe. subscribe. If you know anyone that wants to do this surgery, share this video to them. Yes. We don't have promo code for you today. No sorry. promo code. Sorry. This is not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> in no way. Anyway, so we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.